Alright guys, I'm going to be walking you through my most recent project that I just finished. Uh, it's called Urban Village. I actually did a full start to finish course of this, um, but I thought I'd just do a quick behind the scenes and just walk you through the kind of main features that are unique in this project and also the assets that I used um, just to give you guys full transparency on how I achieved the work that I achieved. So let's jump into it. So this is the scene here. I'm just in cycles view using the denoiser. Um, this is something that I actually just put together this morning. Um, but the main render that I got out of that, that start to finish course, which you can check out on my YouTube channel is this render here. And, um, yeah, so this is kind of from the kitchen looking in the other direction, but it's still the same scene using the same assets. It's just kind of a little bit more built out with, you know, the living room and the kitchen and everything. So to start off, I used a um, HDRI called Abandoned Hopper Terminal 04. Uh, you can get this on HDRI Haven. I, I think it's called Poly Haven now um, for, for free. I love using this HDRI, it's just fantastic. Um, and then a few of these assets here, actually most of these assets are from 3D Shaker. Um, there's a link in the, in the description for the furniture pack that I used for this whole project. Literally everything you see in here from in terms of furniture um, is using that furniture pack. And it's so easy, you can literally go to your asset browser and it's all it's all down here and you can literally just drag and drop it in it's literally that easy so i'd highly recommend checking that out the um material i used for all the walls and the ceiling and everything is just like a plywood material that it's just a texture that i found online and um it's i, I can't actually remember where i found it i got it ages ago um so yeah that's pretty much what i did for that and then i literally just put that on kind of a a 10 millimeter wide um, board and then I've just arrayed that out um, and I've just changed the UVs and kind of moved them around so that there's no um, there's no like tiling because you know the thing about tiling is it can become very very obvious that it's 3D if you just don't don't try to tackle that problem um, yeah, so that's basically all the assets and all the, you know, the HDR and lighting and everything. But let's just get out of Cycles view and let's just have a quick zoom around the model just so that you guys can see kind of how I've built it up. So let's go back into camera view. So yeah, just, to, just um, what I was talking about before with these plywood panels. If I isolate them, it's literally just a standard size in New Zealand. I think it's a two point, I think it's a 1.2 wide board um, and it's 2.4 high, which is like a standard stud, stud height in New Zealand. Um, and then outside, um, I've just got that furniture here from 3D Shaker. And I've also got some, um, uh, some plants from the New Zealand plant pack by Globe Plants. And then I've also got this ivy here growing along this brick wall at the back. So I've just kind of layered all this planting um, and it just creates a nice effect. Um, and if you have a look at the start to finish course, you'll see the process of building this up and including like, you know, all this grass and everything that you can see in that render. These trees at the back were also 3D Shaker, um, so there'll be a link in the description for that. Um, but besides that, I just thought I'd do a quick summary of everything. If you want to see how I do all my materials and kind of um, how to avoid tiling, you can check out my glow box behind the scenes, or also just check out the start to finish course where I walk you through how to procedurally use a real texture but use modifiers and um, geo nodes to basically randomly brighten and darken and move the UVs. So that's literally it. This is just kind of a bird's eye view of my most recent project. 
Um, I hope you found this useful and if you want just check out the start to finish course for free it's on my YouTube channel and make sure to check out my Instagram at Oliver Higgins Architecture there's a link in the description if you want to see the kind of work I produce as a professional and also you can check out my discord you can share your work there and also get feedback from me and from the community so I'll see you guys next week cheers <laughs>